Hey Flames and welcome to the long overdue Fireplace Euro Truck Simulator 2. So for today's video I'm just gonna take this load I've got here and take a little drive. It's a pretty short job I took. You know, wouldn't want the video to be too long like my previous one. Freaking one hour and nobody watched it because nobody's gonna spend an hour watching a video. Eh? So let's just, um, I'm gonna give you like a little disclaimer now already. I don't have the patience for speed limits. And you know, you know, I have, I have a mutual agreement with speed limits, you know. I just go. Ain't no speed limit gonna stop me from driving the speed I wanna drive. You know. And this Euro Truck Simulator, you know, I make more money than the speed limit takes from me, so. A few broken speed limits, they ain't the end of the world. Let's just get around here without somebody driving into me because that seems to happen a lot. People riding into me, I don't, I guess. It's my fault. But nothing's really my fault. I do everything right. It's, it's, it's the stupid AI's fault for driving into me. And then I get freaking docked. You know, I haven't considered this, but I might run out of petrol. Oh diesel or whatever trucks run on these days so yeah yeah I'm, I'm driving with like automatic because you know going through 11 or 12 or how many ever gears is a bit of a problem eh? I have tried it but you know you, you really need like an like a H shifter controller thing or well, you really need a speed like a steering wheel controller as well but I don't got that with my mouse and keyboard like you do you know play uh, your own truck simulator with your mouse and keyboard let's head here see the boards are saying we're going you need to go 110 my truck can't even do that anyway so that's not gonna turn out to be a problem I had this truck I don't haven't had this truck for a long time I had like a shitty other truck a I think it's an Evico truck, and that so no, I didn't sell it. I, I bought a comp. I bought like upgraded my garage, got another driver, and gave that truck to the driver. So now I'm driving a nice Scania truck, much faster. If it doesn't have a like a electronic speedometer, it has like a old plain manual one, and I have to pay freaking tolls. I hate paying tolls. Whoever does that, you know, tolls are probably gonna cost me more than a trip. It's really unfortunate. So let's get going here. Let's try not to hit any of these guys. There's a guy taking cars. So yeah, this is Hero Truck Simulator, if you were wondering. As I've said plenty of times. It's, it's, it's pretty fun. First, you have, like, when driving you have this view. Which is, it's, well, what I do for the most immersion. And then you've got, let me just remember the keys here, you've got this, and this, yeah, you got this, who wants to use that, and then you've got something that's gonna make me crash, and then you've got this, and then we've got drama cam, and you know, drama cam is not the best for actually driving, you know, let's just get back into the real view, there we go. Never ever use drama cam for anything other than beauty shots. And where stuff like that happens, even though I was already back here when it did. Don't judge me. Anyway. So yeah, I'm driving. My, my other driver is, you know, she sucks. It's a girl. I had to take the girl because she was pretty in the picture. But she, she sucks at this. She, she can't drive. She's basically costing me more money than it costs to like she's costing me more money than I make well I make some profit but you know I pay more it's hard to explain you don't understand finance anyway her 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 anyway yeah she um she sucks but I don't have the heart to fire her and everyone else sucks as well because I didn't really bother to learn how to hire good people yeah I think I'm gonna stop for fuel up ahead, as you can see in the GPS, like a little gra garage is coming. I'm just gonna switch lanes here. 
I look at my horn. Horns are good. Anyway, let's grab some fuel. Probably gonna cost me more than the whole truck. Actually, the Vika truck was much better on fuel consumption than this thing. This thing, I don't, I don't even know. Its fuel consumption is horrible. I just throw in, and when I see again, I need to refill again. Although it could be that it just has like a smaller tank. That's a that's a possibility that can't be denied. And there goes more money. Hopefully not a check pays for it. Uh, yeah. So right now I'm saving up to buy a third truck and then obviously get a third driver. Hopefully someone not as sucky as Katarina. Katarina. Katarina is not a very good driver, you know. But, you know why I keep her on? Let me show you why I keep her on. Let's get here into company manager, driver manager. Katarina. That is why she's still driving for me. So, don't judge me. She's, she, she, see how little she's made? Let's, let's not talk about it. That's her. You know, I'm not going to judge her. She's good at certain things. Hard, hard jokes. Toad's jokes, anyway. Let's get driving here. I need to get to my destination. <sighs> As you can see, my guy's yawning. That means I should probably sleep at some point. But I have an urgent load. So I need to get there fast. But I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just following the GPS. <laughs> That's been happening a lot. I, never even, I don't even check what the final destination's name is. I just go. Which is a good way to make money. I, 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 I um, tend to believe, you know. It's, it's sad that I w chose to drove at night. I should have made better decisions. So that I could have shown you like the landscape and stuff. Not that it's much to speak of. That's the moon going down there. And you know. It's Europe. But surprisingly it's not winter yet. I thought Europe was like perma winter or something. Yeah. So ne next. I think next year they're bringing out American trucks some later. It's apparently has the whole of America. Do you know how I love riding in America? As you can see from my The Crew video. And you know, these people are also good at making gigantic core maps. <sighs> it's, it's, I guess it's a bit less gigantic core because then you have so like big main roads, no smaller roads. And you can't actually go into the cities just like the industrial district of cities. But like, the map is still gigantic. You know, I was saying it takes like almost an hour to go in the crew from end to end. You don't even know how long it takes here. It's 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 insane. Oh, I should probably start braking before I start dying. Yep, that was something that was supposed to rhyme, and it, it just didn't happen. No, some that 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 happens sometimes. Like you know, the rhyme just doesn't come through. It doesn't come through, you know. As you can see, we're nearing the end of a drive, and it's gonna be like a 10 minute video, which is amazing. My videos tend to go much longer than 10 minutes, and I'm always too lazy to edit them down. Ah, oh, laziness. Laziness is good. It's what I do, bro. It's what I do. So, yeah. Wanna see the whole map? I don't think you can directly see it on the GPS, no. The GPS zooms out to about that amount you know I'll show you the whole map once I deliver this load and we can just go free driving and just like truck thing yep I've got some more Euro truck simulator videos coming up um, if I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some hints and number one Eugene is coming back and he has a whole new job hint hint nudge nudge and then yep that's that's about it and you know, if you use some special methods, holy shit, I should not talk so much while I'm trying to drive. Yep, I crashed horribly there anyway. Let's, let's just continue. <laughs> the, the, oh, come on, the, the like, load took four damage, so I'm not going to get all my money. And it's not a lot of money anyway, so that's really unfortunate. But we are almost there, so it's not going to be too much of a problem. 
Well, obviously it's going to be a problem. I'm not going to get all my money. But that's okay. Let's just, let's just get there. Get there and be done with it. You know what I mean? I'm going to show you the map. Map is real big. So what was I talking about before I crashed horribly? Oh yeah, if you used some methods, you could see a hidden playlist I have on my channel, which should indicate things to come soon. I'll give you another hint. It's something I could do in games like this and games in like the crew. Yeah, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. And we're in Henry heading into Lyon now. And um, what seems to be pretty long tunnel. I hope it's a long tunnel. I love long tunnels. You know, somewhere in Europe, there's like this massively long tunnel that I saw in a show somewhere. And I, I hope it's somewhere in this game and that I hit it at some point and like drive through it. Maybe it just, it isn't, which would be unfortunate because I like long tunnels. Long tunnels be fun. What are we heading through now? Is this some form of also tunnel? It's just snake through traffic here. You get out of my way. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. You get out of my way. Everybody. Stop being tired. Oh, red robot. Uh, 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 good, 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 good. Let's just get into the turning lane here. I wanted to snake through traffic and then the, in the, the um, traffic light, you know, bugger. I shouldn't have taken a turn here. Took a wrong turn. Let's make a U-turn. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Let's turn, turn the steering wheel around. And that's unfortunate. Okay. Okay. Sorry, son. You gotta go. Yeah. That was unavoidable. Uh, okay. Um, that's red light that I'm going to ignore. And it's not even gonna dock me. Har har yay. And delivery. I'm not even gonna try parking, so don't ask me to. And delivery is made. Wonderful. Satisfactory. I did an amazing job. You buggers. Damage penalty. Well, ah, it's unfortunate. Anyway. Now that we're done there, let me just show you the map real quick. This is the map. It's gigantic! Oh. I actually want to see how much it takes to drive from Aberdeen to Debrican. That's, I think, the furthest you could drive. Yeah, we're going to try that at some point. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. As always, fire out.